Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, let's uh, style up some elements and show you how you can basically deal with these elements. Because sometimes you may want to align it, you may want to color it, and a lot many other things that you would like to do. So I just want to give you a quick introduction about how you can do this and definitely that will open up the doors for you because you can just go in and explore. I have already told you how you can take help in one of the previous video to completely see what are all the parameters available. So let me show you some initial parameters. All right, so that's what we have created here. Let me just close it and interrupt the kernel. Um, so we have created this HTML H1 uh, tag and uh, we have given this as uh, hello dash so let's assign one of the optional parameter which is children to it so that uh, it is properly uh, picking up the values when we are specifying the next parameter though it is optional so hello dash and I will just create some more space comma um, and then specify the style parameter within the curly brackets because that has to be a dictionary all right so the parameter that we can use is a simple text alignment parameter and which let's say we want as center all right simple and let's just take another one maybe we want to color it uh, into something so let's take the color maybe any hexadecimal color so hash four five six f b b maybe that's the color we want i don't know what color it is i'm just taking it randomly all right so since we have done this let's stay do the similar thing over here so let's sign it to children ch -L -D -R -E -N. hope i'm writing it correctly yep comma to this and i will just simply copy this all right um here i am so that it is same all right so once it is done we can simply go ahead and execute it and execute it again click it over here now if you see it's hello dash dash a data product uh, development framework then simple bar chart so i don't know whether this is fine or not or what what it is uh, really trying to do because i i don't see much of a change so maybe let me change it to be the dfgt maybe that will going to work right so let's take it change it over here just experimenting with it you can you can just let me just first of all interrupt the kernel because this was not executed. Um, again, yeah, doing nothing much but uh, just simply uh, giving me the black color. So, so these kind of things we can basically manage uh, with the use of help. All right, just to make sure that uh, we are doing it right, uh, let's take uh, red hexadecimal code okay so this is the code let's take this i hope it should work maybe because of the i am using the capital letters so I'm, i may be doing the mistake there so since it is running let me interrupt it again um execute execute and see it all right perfect that means this is working so if if you are like me if you are clueless about uh, hexadecimal code uh, which most of the times we are because we we don't know that you can use this i think there are some sites also which can convert the rgb to hexadecimal or like i just searched that what is that color code you can just give it so that's how very quickly and easily you can style your text all right that's pretty much it for you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video new topic